Hello everyone, my name is Yue Pan. Today I'd like to present our recent work, Panoptic Mapping with Blue Shape Completion and Post Estimation for Horticulture Robots. To feed an ever-growing world population, mobile robots has been playing a more and more important role in agriculture monitoring and manipulation in the greenhouse, such as the sweeper robots from WUR and the puzzle ball from Uniborn. For those tasks, the fundamental part is to build a metric semantic map with high definition. In this paper, we we'll address the problem of building a 3D multi-resolution panoptic map using a mobile robot with RGBD sensors. Furthermore, we jointly estimate the complete 3D shape and pose of each fluid in the map. The input to the mapping system is a string of the RGBD images. The camera poses are estimated by either RGBD odometry or well odometry. Next, we use mask RCNN model to predict the instance mask for the fluids. Then, we track each fluid to get a global consistent set map ID for every fluid and the background plant. Meanwhile, the TSDF fusion is done in parallel for each set map for the mesh reconstruction. As you can see in this video, the panoptic map can be built online while the robot moving in the greenhouse. To balance the mapping quality and efficiency, we assign a higher resolution to the fluid set maps with 3 mm voxel size and lower resolution to the plant background with 1 cm voxel size. Once we build the map, we can estimate the complete shape and pose of each fluid simultaneously. To do so, we firstly build a large database of the accurate fluid model scanned by a handheld laser scanner in the lab. Then we train a deep SDF model using the data pool to learn the prior knowledge of the fluid shape. The learned MLP network is able to predict the SDF value at an arbitrary position conditioned on a shape latent code. And with the first deep SDF MLP model, we try to adjust both the shape latent code and the fluid pose to let the set map points has a SDF prediction which is closer to zero. Then we can reconstruct the mesh from the SDF field. Additionally, we can make use of the images, try to minimize the difference between the rendered mask and the predicted mask, as well as the difference between the render depths and the measured depths, also by adjusting the shape code and pose. As you can see in this demo video, the fluid mesh is gradually aligning to the partial point cloud during the iterative optimization of the shape code and pose. The reconstructed mesh is well aligned with the ground truth shape shown in white. The optimization can be done in half a second. Here we show more qualitative results of the panoptic map with completed fluid models that are recovered from the noisy measurements and strong occlusions. Additionally, we compare our method with previous methods quantitatively on the reconstruction accuracy and pose accuracy. It is shown that our method in yellow has the smallest chamfer distance and the rotation error. Noted that only two of the baselines can also estimate the fluid pose. Last but not least, we show that the fluid completion and pose estimation performance using the proposed multi-resolution map is much better than using the single frame measurement or the fixed resolution map. And the performance is only a bit worse than the bundle adjustment map that can only be built offline. In conclusion, we proposed a multi-resolution panoptic mapping system that can complete each fluid instance in the wild. We believe this mapping framework and the map representation can be used for many downstream tasks like autonomous monitoring and harvesting in the greenhouse. We also released the code, so feel free to scan the QR code to try it out. Thank you very much for your attention.